what's up welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is cherish and if you are seeing this place for the first time you are absolutely welcome to this channel so you want to know how to repair your bleached um, damaged skin like a lot of people have damaged skin as a result as a result of bleaching and everything okay now before i start by telling you guys the things that i think or i know that this if you follow these processes they will work and they will help you they will help your skin look better and gradually these things will help you transform your skin from that bleached damaged skin to a better version of your skin okay now i want i would like to say that <laughs> Just because you followed this process that I will uh, be listing does not mean that it will happen overnight. This thing, these processes will not happen overnight. Your skin will not recover overnight. It will not be the same overnight. Okay. Now, another thing is that your skin will look worse, worse that before it even becomes like really good. Okay. It, it will go from bad to worse before it becomes better you may experience a lot of breakouts like different things will start happening to your skin when you stop using this uh bleaching product okay now another thing is that i would like to say before i start telling you guys the other thing is that embrace your skin your skin the color of your skin your skin is you you have no reason i know the society is really partial and against dark skin and there's a lot of negativity surrounding dark skin and everything but embrace the color of your skin your skin is you love it okay and when you start loving your skin when you start loving the color of your skin the shade believe me people will start complimenting you because naturally it's, it's what goes on within that radiates like outside like you know, do you understand what i mean now um let's just dive right into this video now what are bleaching products okay that brings us to this point what are bleaching products what do people call bleaching product how would you identify if a product is a bleaching product if a product will harm your skin now bleaching products are known as products that contain harmful substances like um substances ingredients that um products that contain ingredients like steroids um, mercury or products that contain a higher percentage of hydroquinone now um in a product the hydro the hydroquinone percentage should not be like more than two to four percent in that product in a product now products that contain a higher percentage of that product are most likely they will damage your skin this product will, will destroy your skin now these are the products that are called what bleaching product like stay away from products that promises um seven days <laughs> that will promise you in seven days in two days oh don't worry you'll ch you will change from from black to white those products they will be most likely inf infused with all these bleaching products steroids mercury a high percentage of hydroquinone that will damage your skin now i'd like you to know that over time this product when you keep using them they give you like sunburn they give you dark knuckles they give you like bad <laughs> bad um stretch marks they give you like green veins um dark knuckles like i said like these products those products will destroy your skin like in any way they will they will rip your skin apart now why do no i like to say that the what's it called i like to say that stretch mark is is normal okay but you you <laughs> when you see someone that, that that like that bleaches his or her skin or her skin you notice that this stretch mark is not normal now the, <laughs> the reason why they have this stretch mark is because the products are started like damaging the, the the products will start damaging their skin itself starts like ripping their skin apart and i don't know how to explain it but you know the, the chemicals will damage their skin rip their skin apart like their skin will just not be what it's supposed to be damage all the vital parts of your skin and do you understand what i mean now down to the first step to repair your bleached damaged skin the first thing is first throw out those products those products that you have been using that have been that you know that have been damaging your skin those products that have been uh, making you <laughs> making you a certain shade different sh certain shade different from whatever you used to be those products that, that you know that oh this is what i i bought this you know i went somewhere and they mixed it and they told me oh it will do this it will make me throw them away you can't be following these processes that i'll be telling you and 
you'll still be using this product and you now somebody will now come on my channel and tell me it's not working the, the first step is throw those products away throw them away change your mindset that's another thing you don't have to be light-skinned to be beautiful you don't have to be a, a certain shade to be beautiful throw away those products stop using them stop using them totally i know it is difficult but if you want to repair your skin okay throw away those products throw away. don't keep any little any <laughs> any little cream don't keep any little one i say mm, this one will just it's just to brighten my face it's just to tone my skin you know you know what i'm talking about throw all those products away now i'm going to say that um i'm not just talking from abstract or anything i have actually bleached my skin before but i would like to say that i'm not giving an excuse i was quite young i was in secondary school before i was in secondary school when that happened um i used to buy a certain um body lotion the the name of the cream is coco dome it has this really good um, um smell it smells like chocolate it's chocolate it smells like this splash sweet if you know that sweet like how they really so i was really buying it over and over again but the thing that i noticed about that is they usually write numbers at the bottom of the container i don't know if the numbers um if the numbers uh affect the product like if the numbers uh pertain to a particular skin color but as i because i loved that that lotion itself like i would always buy it i was in the i was in the boarding house then so i would always buy it like we used it in my in my house and we use it for a certain like we used it we, everybody was using that nothing so i that i feel like i bought one uh one that had bleaching ingredients and i did not know i was not using any other thing that was what i was using and i feel like that particular product that particular one um i think we used to use number two i, I didn't even take note of it till people started telling me that ah, my, my guardian then was telling me ah you're getting fairer and everything deep down i feel like i was enjoying it and i loved it and i think i had i had um, a different perspective of my skin tone then so i was using it but it damaged my skin like my 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 ankle itself <laughs> it was a different color it was just so so bad um and what i did was actually to store like when i got to my mom was like don't use this product again and that was just the end of it so and that's that's just what i'm going uh, to tell you stop using that product that's the first thing just stop it it took a very long time before my my ankle became what it is now okay it became like blended to my skin now enough with the story the second step is use mild products use skin loving products use lotions products that you know who are, are designed or produced to repair your skin not to bleach your skin we have a lot of products like we have a lot of skincare brands like CeraVe uh palmas nive i like i trust nive products a lot and personally i i just i use natural products like that's just what i use not any product that does not have whenever i go to a skin a skincare store whatever whatever whenever i want to purchase any product i specifically purchase products that have natural ingredients that i know I, when i know that these products don't have any form of lightening or brightening agent or it will not harm my skin or these products are products that I know that people have used and they've testified, okay, that they've given reviews. Those are the products that I buy, okay. Now, if you want to test out really good um, lotions, body oils, like use CeraVe, use Nive, um, use uh, Palmas, use um, Aveno. They are, they, are, they are skincare brands like these that are really, really great, okay. Now, I use feel free to use either this i personally i use this like i've been since i tested this product like i've given a review several times on this product and this is another one it's also a nivea product i use nivea so that's why i don't have any other um other 
a brand here that I use, okay? Another thing you can do to actually repair your bleached or damaged skin is to incorporate incorporate natural oils into your skincare routine. Use oils that will repair your skin. Incorporate um, vitamin E oils and everything. Use baby oils. Like, baby oils are, are mild products. Now, there's only one pa palm kernel oil. Like, palm kernel oil is so, so great for your skin. Like, not just oil, though. Palm kernel oil. Palm kernel oil. That's really great for skin repair, okay? That's like, those are um, natural products that will really help your skin. Another thing that you can do to help your skin is avoid, whenever, when you are trying to uh, follow this process, avoid exfoliating products, yes. But the meantime, like about one month, two months into this process, do not exfoliate. You know why? You know you've used these uh what's it called the bleaching product for a very long time so your skin is really your skin at that time will be really um sensitive okay it will not be as where is the dead skin cell that... <laughs> where is the dead skin cell that your skin will not just be what it's supposed to be in general that's just what i'm trying to say avoid using like really um exfoliating um scrub sponge anything avoid exfoliating products for about one month or two months okay just because your skin is repairing and all now the bleaching product has damaged your skin your skin itself will be really tender really um fragile at that moment you shouldn't be exfoliating what is not even okay okay i'll advise i use like baby product like baby uh, lotions the oils and all those things those those things will help okay at that process when you're trying to incorporate this into your skin another thing that you should um take note of is using sunscreen like incorporate sunscreen into your routine you know if you notice this <laughs> People that bleach their skin, they experience a lot of sunburns. Like you notice that their skin, this I try all these market women and elderly, their skin, their skin will be really black. Their knuckles, their nose, they experience a lot of sunburn. Why? Because their skin has been damaged. The melanin is no more. It's no longer melanin. <laughs> Everything has been destroyed. They experience a lot of sunburn. So while they are trying to repair your bleed skin start using sunscreen both the one for your face and both the one for your body okay any part any part of your body that will be exposed to sun at that at that moment at that period apply sunscreen and also try to reapply sunscreen like apply sunscreen reapply sunscreen okay that is vital another thing is drink water i know this is cliche but you need to drink water <laughs> to stay hydrated okay within and outside okay the next one is be patient with your skin you might be doing it and nothing will happen like i told you that my ankle was not <laughs> i felt like <laughs> it felt like all oh, this i can't even explain how my ankle was um it was just so it was just so bad so so bad it was a different color and I was so timid, so shy then. I couldn't, like, I was always putting on socks and just be patient with your skin. Be patient. Be patient. Just be patient. That's just something I'm going to tell you. Work out. Okay? Now, the last thing is fight the temptation to go back to using that product, like those products. Fight that temptation. It's not easy. It's not easy. Remember, I told you that when you start. When you start um, following these processes that I told you guys, your skin will go from bad to worse before it becomes better. Then this process, people will be giving you different advices. Use this, use this, use that. You know what you're doing. Just be patient. Don't go back to it. Somebody will tell you, some people will tell you, don't worry, come to me. I know what to mix. Fight off the temptation, okay? and uh, i'll see you guys in my next video my name is cherish if you like this video if you gained anything else from this video don't forget to give this video a like subscribe share this video and bye